Now first, you probably already know that germs are everywhere, and it's impossible for humans to get rid of them. These tiny creatures train our immune system. We're becoming stronger when our organism constantly faces bacteria and improves its protection skills. So don't worry about what you see next. <laughs> Welcome to one of the favorite places among bacteria and microbes – hotel rooms. Yes, they seem to be so clean, but in some ways, they're more dangerous than a garbage dump. Everything is dirty at the landfill, and you're afraid to touch anything. But the dirt in hotel rooms is almost invisible. Germs are waiting for you here, and there are a lot of them. So the first problems appear already in the elevator. The buttons on the panel are swarming with various bacteria. Suppose no one cleans them with a disinfectant. In that case, these buttons become the arena where billions of microbes multiply and devour each other. Take a look at an ordinary apartment building. There are elevators too. The same people live in this house, transmitting the same germs when they touch the elevator buttons. Your body encounters these microbes often and quickly develops the needed protection. But different people stay in hotels. A guy from some African country can bring a bacterium that will be dangerous for a girl from cold Norway. Therefore, after you touch the button, wash your hands with a soap or disinfectant. So the elevator opens its doors and you walk towards your room. Watch out! There's another hot spot ahead. See that door handle? This area is another beloved playground for germs. How many people have touched it before you? How long has it been since it was washed? Do you know why such a handle is more dangerous than a toilet seat? Most of all, microbes accumulate on our fingers and palms. When we don't wash them, we transfer a million bacteria from one place to another by touching the surfaces of different objects. So the best way is to touch the door handle with the same hand you use to press the button in the elevator. As soon as you enter the room, wash your hands. The good news is that hotel staff clean bathrooms and toilets much better than the rest of the room. So you're a bit safer here. But still, take a good look at the corners of the bathroom and the tiles. If you see black spots somewhere, it means there's mold. This thing can cause allergic reactions like runny nose and eye irritation. Mold can be pretty dangerous, but hotel staff usually watch it closely. So it's unlikely that there will be something like this in your room unless it's a cheap hotel. You don't stay there, do you? Oh, by the way, did you know that toilet paper in a public toilet contains more germs than the toilet lid? You make a mistake if you cover the seat with pieces of that paper. First, many people touch it which means they transfer bacteria onto it. Secondly, dirty little splashes get on the roll when someone flushes the toilet. Microbes feel more comfortable living on soft paper than on the hard surfaces of the toilet. So don't put it on the seat. But if you see a metal or plastic cover on the roll, you're lucky since the roll is protected from germs. Then, after you've done your business and washed your hands thoroughly, you have two options. Wipe your hands with a paper towel or use a hand dryer. It doesn't matter what you choose, both variants have a lot of germs. But if you use the dryer, bacteria will fly all over the room. So better grab a towel. Okay, you come out of the bathroom and find yourself in a danger zone. Don't think that all germs there are harmless. Some of the most common bacteria in hotels cause intestinal infections. If you don't want to spend the rest of your vacation or business trip next to or on the toilet, get ready to fight colonies of tiny parasites. The first thing you need to do is wash those glasses and cups with soap. Some travelers carry their own mugs with them, which is a good idea. Then look around and ask yourself, which places do people touch the most? These are the TV remote control, coffee machine, fridge, door handles, tables, hair dryer, and windows. But relax, you don't need to do the cleaning instead of the hotel staff. It's enough to have wet wipes with a powerful disinfectant. Wipe the surface of all these objects. Perhaps you worry in vain, and the hotel carefully monitors how clean the rooms are. <laughs> or you can tell the manager you want to have your room cleaned again. So you've wiped all the surfaces and jumped into bed tired. Unfortunately, you're not the only one to rest on that soft mattress. You have a huge company of bacteria. Of course, washing pillowcases and bed linen, 
destroys germs, but what about the bedspread? Most likely, nobody washes it. Removing germs from the tissue is difficult, so you'll probably have to put up with it. But the thing you shouldn't accept is bed bugs. If you notice dark spots on your mattress, this is most likely the waste left by bed bugs. You're not hungry, are you? I don't want to spoil your appetite. The insects themselves can hide deep in the mattress. They can sleep there for months and then wake up to satisfy their hunger. While you're resting, they come out and bite your legs. If you notice small red spots on your skin in the morning, then bed bugs have, well, kissed you. The bites of these beetles are not dangerous. Some people may have a mild allergic reaction in the form of irritation on the skin. But the problem is that some bed bugs can get into your clothes or things. Then you'll bring them home. These creatures multiply rapidly. Therefore, if you don't want a colony of biting bugs in your house, then wash your clothes, clean your luggage, and go to the shower. But before that, ask the hotel manager to refund your money. Because bed bugs are unex. By the way, even if the room is squeaky clean, it doesn't mean there are no bed bugs in it. Perhaps previous guests brought them. So your bed has no black spots, and you have wiped all the dangerous surfaces. That's it, you're safe. But try to walk on the floor wearing slippers or thick socks, as the floor is also a source of dirt. You spend several nights in the hotel and finally return to a clean and safe place, your home. Unfortunately, your house can also have many germs you don't see. Do you like to have fun with friends and play video games? Do you remember when the last time you cleaned the gamepad was? All your friends have held it in their hands, which means you've collected all of their microbes there. Your kitchen cutting board. How thoroughly do you wash it? It's not enough just to splash it with water, especially if you cut meat and vegetables. You can cut some squash, and its germs will stick to the surface. Then you quickly wash the board and put it back in place. But the germs haven't gone away. They're still firmly attached to the surface, waiting for you to cut bread. Then they'll jump onto the food and get into your stomach. Uh, how's that appetite doing? Still good? Another dangerous place is a dish sponge. Even if you use a good detergent, germs still accumulate there. The best way to get rid of them is to change sponges once a week. And now you'll see a paradise for bacteria. A place with an ideal cold temperature and a lot of food, from fresh to spoiled. Hey, it's your fridge! There you put products that you bring from the supermarket. Hundreds of people could touch them with their hands, leaving millions of germs. Therefore, don't forget to wash your fridge often. And also, keep any meat away from packaged products, because germs on a rare steak multiply and spoil it quickly. Well, perhaps you're too worried about your health now. If so, then you should remember the words from the beginning of the video. Let me quote. You probably already know that Germans are everywhere. Wait, that's not it. Ah, sorry. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.